Hi guys, welcome to another video. Here today to talk to you about the cracking red delete and give you five quick facts in around the five minute mark. Let's get into it. So here we have the cracking red belete. Um, fact number one about this mushroom is it's a July to October, late summer, early autumn mushroom, and it's in the Belitus family. We've got the red cracking belete here, Belitus family, spongy yellow pores, red stipe, and a red capped top that will go brown and start to crack. And that's how you know you've got the red cracking belete. Fact number two about this mushroom is despite its color, red and yellow don't always mean dangerous. As I say, it's totally edible. It's a really, really tasty belete. As long as you remove the pores as well, because they can get quite spongy um, and soft and slimy. Um, but it's a really good edible um, and it's really common as well. I see it absolutely everywhere, every single season. Fact number three is it's mycorrhizal. What that means is it's got a symbiotic relationship with a host tree. Um, so it has a symbiotic relationship with hardwood trees um, at the base of hardwood trees and sometimes coniferous um, plantations as well if it's got good drainage. Um, so it really does share that mycelial network and that interconnected network um, with its host tree. So it's a mycorrhizal tree. You'll see it at the base of trees, normally within a one or two metre sort of distance from the tree. Um, and it really does like um, growing around trees on, you know, sort of hilly mounds with decent drainage, um, plenty of loose soil, flint, that kind of thing. And you see it all around the bases of trees. It's really, really common. I see it every single summer and every single autumn. Um, and it's a good, easy, identifiable mushroom because it's bright yellow, bright red, uh, cracked cap um, and yellow pores. So yeah, really good one. Fact four is all about, that's three. Fact four is all about the, uh, the spore print, which is an olivey brown color, which kind of makes sense actually, given that the, uh, the pores are bright yellow and then go sort of greeny yellow at the end. So it's quite common for this to, uh, um, to, to give off uh, a sort of more olivey brown khaki sort of colored spore print, uh, but they look really nice once they have spored. Fact five about the cracking red belete. So, as I say, um, it's really, really distinctive with its cracked cap, red stipe, um, yellow pores, um, and spongy texture. But there's actually one really interesting fact about this, and it's that actually it can grow a parasite on it, um, another fungus actually. So it's kind of cannibalistic in the fungal world. Um, they will kill each other off, but um, essentially it's got a, a known parasite, another fungus that will actually kill um, this mushroom very slowly and other beletes like it. It's actually called the belete eater. So it's in the Hypermyces parasitic family. It's known as the, uh, the belete eater. Um, and again, it does eat this mushroom and slowly kills it off. It's a parasitic um, fungus that will actually eat this mushroom itself um, and other beletes like it. So guys, give it a little like if you have liked it below. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the Fungi Facts series. And without further ado, I'll see you again on the next one. Yo. Entering the planet, we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded and tired the unlikely